Yeah, good morning. It's Jim from JagFX.com. It is Friday, the 20th of March, 2020. It is 5.50 a.m. local here in Vietnam. This video is just to catch up on where I am at on the 12-hour high probability charts. For me, the 12-hour charts, my new candles are at 4 a.m., which was one hour 50 minutes ago, and 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So I'll have one more candle, and that'll be me done for the week. Um, so we'll just run through the pairs and what I've done. This is trading view. This is my watch list on the right, all the pairs I'm trading. The ones in the blue are the ones I've got trades on. When they're highlighted in orange means I've taken some action and I want to discuss in a video. So we'll start with the AUSCAD. Now my trades, you can read my notes on the chart. You can pause the video, slow the video down or whatever you want to do to read it. Basically, it's a chronological order of what I'm doing. My cells are normally shown by the red vertical dash line and the red horizontal solid line. So that's the intersection there. That's my cell. Stops are shown by the red dotted lines. So you can read I've taken a cell. One of the reasons why, closed half, stopped down to. So I moved my stop down this morning to this level here. And the reason I did that, this is the MACD platinum down the bottom. There's a green dot on the MACD Platinum below the zero level. So that means I'm now starting to look for buys. So I look for buys when the MACD Platinum's below the zero level and sells when it's above the zero level. And I base my trade signals on this red and uh, red and green dots, QMP filter on the actual price chart. So until we get one of them, I don't take any action. And the grey vertical line is just something I'll put on there to show me that Something, something's happened, and in this case, it's that green dot on the MACD platinum below the zero level, and my stop's just above that a couple of spike highs there. So I've just moved my stop down that sell trade, locking in profit, all good. AD Swiss franc. I took a buy this morning. Hit the buys are signified by the blue vertical line and the blue horizontal solid line. I've already got a sell in place up here. It's a partial sell. So now I've taken a new buy this morning. My overall break even, I've got to fix it up. It's not very tidy. Overall break even at 52230. I'm positive plus 0 0.01. So as long as price stays, my break even levels are these yellow lines. As long as price stays above that, I can't lose on these trades combined. That makes sense because I'm positive. So I've got to stay above that yellow line and I'll be in positive territory for both trades. Was New Zealand, this was something I did last night on my last candle. I took a buy in here. I'm already in a sell. Taking a buy. This green line is parity. That's why that's just a big number, something I just keep an eye on. 1.0000. Unusual for the Aussie. And New Zealand a bit parity, got to that level. As you can see, it's sort of a fairly significant level and price source to hold above it. My overall break in is down below parity, well below parity at 97.987. So I'm positive again, as long as price stays above that, it's all good. Aussie USD. So the Aussie's on a bit of a tear down. Uh, again, I've got a green line that's at 60 cents, 0 0.60. Big number for the Aussie. In a sell, all I've done this morning is, again, similar to the um, previous one, there's a new green dot on the MACD platinum below the zero level down here, hence the grey line. I've just brought my stop above parity and above these spikes here. So all I've done is move my stop there to my sell, locking in profit. Uh, Euro Oz took a sell trade this morning. It's my third sell. So I took a sell here. See the MACD platinum's above the zero level? There's a zero level there. So it's crossed there. So I took a sell there. High risk trade because you can see the MAs are starting to fan out. So we're obviously in the uptrend. Took a hedge buy in there. So that's the same position size. And now I've taken a second sell up here. A bigger position size. The previous ones were at zero point. 0 0.02, 0 .02. this one's at 0 0.06, so that's a slightly bigger position size, already price has gone against me, no big deal, this is high risk, it's MACD's a long way above the zero level, 
And, you know, if you look to the left of this chart, you can see how severe these moves have been just in this, you know, two weeks or whatever. But now my overall break in for these three trades is at 184848. So I'm negative minus. So I'm negative, I'm net negative, at minus 0 0.06. So price has to come down to this yellow line. It's not far at all for me to just get to break even level. A long time to wait for that trade. Euro pound, similar sort of trade, except a couple more trades involved. So my sequence started, if you looked at the MACD Platinum, so it started with sell, hedge buy. You can read the notes on the chart there. Second sell. So that was what the we just looked at on the Euro Oz, but it didn't go down. It, again, again, it went against me. So I took a, a second hedge buy. So the two, two, first two trades are the same. Second two trades are the same. Third trade taken this morning is at 0 0.10, which is up here. And my overall break even for the trades, 92405. So that's that yellow line there. It's already come close, but not close enough. So that's the euro pound. I'll do the New Zealand USD first because it's probably a little bit easier. This one, um, that green line is 60, uh, the 60 level, same as I marked on the Aussie. Now, I was in several trades here. I've cleared all the trades because what I've done is I've closed them all. Price got below that break-even level there. That's the overall break-even level for all of my trades. Price got below it, so I just closed every trade. So basically everything's gone here. There's no open trades. And I had a profit there of $83.19 overall. That's, all, that's been added. So I'll get rid of all these lines. I'll do that later. But just to let you know where all the trades were, but this one up here, this last one was a, a double trade. It was a part of this sequence and it was an individual trade. So I took that also. And because of that, it gave me a negative overall and a push right through on those big moves uh, with the USD strength and the New Zealand weakness. So I just closed all trades. I'm not going to risk it. This thing's in a downtrend, but I don't, don't know how much downside it's got. Um, you know, that's pretty low for the Kiwi down there. All right, moving right along. So that's closed. Overall profit's been added. No open trades on the New Zealand USD. New Zealand Swiss franc. Now, this one's a little bit messy. There's a lot happening on this chart. Don't get stressed. And it's, and I've sort of tried to tidy it up. It's getting a bit cluttered looking. So I'm basically in three sequences. So one sequence, all the notes are here. The second sequence um, is is this the cell here, and it's got to stop and play. So I've just sort of pushed it away. I don't really, it's, I don't, I'm not adding to this one. I could probably move the stop down a lot lower, but I'm not worrying about. Then I've got a third sequence. It's, it's this sort of all these trades under here. So buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Um, so that, so there's one sequence, which is all of the trades. There's a second sequence, which is just this one trade. And there's this third sequence, which is all of these trades in here. Um, so last night, there was a sell signal, and which is good. I'm doing the video now because price didn't go down any further. So there's a red dot on the QMP field. It's a little bit hard to see. So I took a sell on, so it's a fifth hedge sell on the first sequence in here. So that sequence is overall break even for that sequence is not applicable because it's hedged. And a third, let me see if I'll move up a bit, third hedge sell on this sequence here. So they're both at the same price, close to the same price in a way. Um, and that overall break even on that sequence is also not applicable, it's hedged. Now, overall, because they're two hedged and I've got that one sell there, I'm Overall, I'm neg um, minus 0 0.01 to the short side. But overall, break even is NA because the actual numbers are negative numbers. So it's it's neither here nor there at the moment. So the plan is waiting for another buy and to try and work out. I probably should get rid of all these yellow lines because they're all not applicable anymore. Should have done that already, Jim. So they're all, they're not 
in play. So at the moment, I need a buy signal, and this MACD Platinum's below the zero level, so I'm looking for buys anyway. I've drawn my potential trend lines in. Green are for um, bullish bit, um, divergence, red are for bearish divergence. Blue is just something I'm looking at, something that's caught my eye. All right, so that's the that. So let's have a quick look at the other trades while well, I've got some time. It might be the last video I do for the week. Uh, USD, Japanese yen in a buy here. Stop and place there. Closed half. This thing's going well, nicely. USD, Swiss franc. Buy, stop above the entry level. It's going up nicely also, breaking this previous high, so looking good. New Zealand CAD in a sell back here, broken through, stop in there, closed out some, looking good. Euro, sell trade all the way back here, still going down, stop and place, closed half. Euro yens, I think it's a bit of a dog's breakfast. Yep, it's a, this yen, yen is a hard, but this euro yen has been tough to trade, but I mean, many, Few trades there, and I'm actually one, two, three, and not much has happened. I really got to get up to this yellow line to get break even, get out of this. Euro Swiss in a sell, stop and place, looking all right, no dramas. Euro CAD. Um, so I took a buy, sell, that buys. Got it stop and place. That's the first sequence. That's a buy there. Then I took start a new sequence. So it's sell, buy, hedge buy, second sell. Uh, and it went against me badly. And I've drawn those trend lines come down. It's getting close to my overall break even level, which is the top yellow line. This bottom yellow line should really probably get out of this trade completely, but I'll, I'll just give it the day and see how it goes. Because the MACD Platinum's through the zero level. I don't really want to push my luck too much. And the CAD Swiss, similar to what I just looked at. Got multiple trades on. There's a sell here, which has got its own stop, which is this first sequence up here. Then, I'm not sure what that grey line's doing there. I can get rid of that. Um, now, this new sequence started. You see the MACD platinum's below the zero level. So we had a buy, sell, hedge sell, and a second buy. So you can read it. Overall break in for this little sequence in here is at 69063, which will be that top yellow line, which hasn't got to yet. Again, the MACD platinum's through the zero level. We're at the overall break even level. So, you know, I could, if, I, if I was smart, <laughs> I would close all those trades and get out of break even. The trend's down, as you can see, but I'd like to see this trend line break here and see how we go. So that's it for all the 12-hour charts, guys. So I've got one more candle, as I say, at 4 p.m. this afternoon, which I probably won't be doing a video because that's just about when I watch my first game of football for the day. So I'll be away from the laptop. Um, but everyone knows the rules, the green, red dots. It's pretty simple. So thanks for watching. If you do like these videos, please hit the subscribe button. And if nothing else, just hit the like button and I will chat later. Oh, and just in the description of the video, you'll find a link to the shared spreadsheet that shows all these trades and the ongoing results, etc. All right, thanks for that. Enjoy your weekend all and stay safe wherever you are.